Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft have started to roll out this month August's optional bug fix C release update now for Windows 10, which is KB5016688. And um, they started to make this latest um, optional update available on the 26th, which was late yesterday in my region. Now, um, if you do decide to install the update, the latest version of Windows 10, version 21H2, the OS build will now be moved up to 19044.1949. If you are on version 21H1, that will be 19043. And if you are on and running version 20H2, that will be 19042. The point release 1949 stays exactly the same for all three versions. Now, um, the update is very similar to uh, the Windows 11 update that I did post on yesterday as at the core and foundation of things and um, both operating systems are very similar so it would be expected that very similar bug fixes would roll out for both windows 10 and windows 11. now i have already installed the update um, but the update will be an optional update which will appear here in this section and um, you don't have to install the update and i always suggest uh, that you only install these optional c release updates that are still in preview near the end of every month that microsoft make available if you are experiencing any issues with your um, your operating system, if you are completely happy with the way things are running on your system, just ignore the update as it is optional. And most of the improvements and fixes will be rolled out next month for Patch Tuesday, the second Tuesday of September for that cumulative update, which will be an automatic update. Now the update, um, if you do decide to install it in case you're interested, will be um, listed under your view update history. And on Windows 10, that'll be under other updates. And um, it's cumulative update preview for Windows 10 KB5016688. Now, um, there's just a couple of highlights that have been fixed and addressed and addressed and been improved that I will just mention quickly for you uh, in the video. Um, over and above numerous bug fixes um, that have rolled out for Windows 10, um, some just to mention quickly are oh, there was an issue that might cause some game installations to fail because of a licensing issue that's been addressed um, they've addressed and fixed an issue that affected the icon colors um, of the list in the search app so that's been addressed if you did experience that that issue with icon colors in the search um, in the search app and there was an issue that might cause an error 0x1e when you shut down or restart a device that's finally now been addressed in this latest update and then um, the microsoft edge internet explorer mode bug seems to be um, coming in along every month and microsoft seems to be battling this one where they've addressed a known issue that causes microsoft edge to stop responding when you use internet explorer mode and um, this issue also prevents you from interacting with that dialogue so um, um, that is a issue that it seems that Microsoft is battling to address and once again they've rolled out a fix for that again this month so hopefully that is addressed now once and for all and there was an issue that causes a subscription activation to fail under certain uh, conditions that's also been fixed and addressed and then there are two new improvements um, uh, there were three that rolled out for Windows 11 and Windows 10 has only received two and um, there's an improvement that gives RT admins the ability to remotely add languages and language related features. Additionally, they can now manage language scenarios across several endpoint managers. And then another one for basically RT admins is there they've there's an improvement that enhances Microsoft Defender for endpoints ability to identify and intercept ransomware and advanced attacks. So those two new improvements are mainly for RT administrators that have rolled out, rolled out now with KB5016688. And then of course, like all the other updates, they've um, improved and updated the servicing stack. And that's the component that installs Windows updates on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So that's it, KB5016688 now has started to roll out um, the optional bug fix C release update for August for Windows 10. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.